Hey, karibu sana. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, sasa leo tuna discuss easy remarks zenye zilimekiwa na one nominated member of parliament. Sijua atakaa ni member of parliament kama nani. Wewe uko kwanza uko uko Saudi? Niko Saudi Arabia, yeah. Hebu tuambie hizo remarks kwako una feel aje? Okay, ni kitu ali alitu embarrassed as Kenyan. Uh -huh. Because we were expecting akikuja huku atatusupport na tu kutu, unajua like we expect somebody will come and hold our back. Unaona? Mm -hmm. Anakaa mm -hmm. kuje a support wa Kenya. Tunasemanga mtu hata akikosa nyumbani unamcorrect makosa si kumuanika mbele ya watu. Mm -hmm. But what he did is so painful to us, especially watu wenye kwa Saudi. Tukiongelea watu wote wako Saudi wachana na Qatar, Dubai and whatever. Because Saudi is not like Qatar, is not like Dubai and other country. Saudi, uh, Saudi is very different country. Especially uh -huh. ni kubwa ni na mambo mingi. Uh -huh. uh, let me say, si kila mtu mbaya Saudi Arabia ama kila mtu mzuri. Sometime we meet with heartless people. Anona? Mi ni experience ni meka nao watu. So this man, angiangalia, why? Awa chana wanafanya ndivyo kwa nini? Kitu ya kwanza, watu wengi wamekosa support from our government tukiingilia agencies au ndio wana cost all of these things mm -hmm. Do, uh, let me say the first thing kama agents wange consider msichana kipata shida instead ya huyo msichana kuacha wateseke wanamrudisha back to nyumbani au mm wasichana -hmm. wange kuwa wanatoroka na to do those things that they are doing now mm -hmm. you know okay i cannot say they are not doing that because mm -hmm. kuna watu wengine situation juwezi niambia lane like you you are a mother Umeata watoto wako nyumbani you are here. Mtu ana insult even mwingine anakuambia will kill you. Will you stay there? Mm -mm. Even though you like to be humble. Okay. Na ukitoka huku nje, are you going to your father's house? Actually no. And that is the problem. Our watu waki, waki harasiwa, waki mistreatiwa, they don't have a place to go. And that is what we are facing right now. If we can have that place to go and to eh ku cry mtu ana, unapata mtu mezalilia na umwambie i'm facing through this i need help i don't mm. want to continue to be in this country i want to go back home wana to give an ear they there to support us to avoid a lot of issues mm -hmm. this man a little embarrassed by the way ali judge people by the rest without knowing ya yeah, ile nini why I could find a reason watu wengi kufanya vitu zingine. Okay, we have these people wako huku nje, si kupenda kwao wakwe. Na kuna wenye kupenda. Lakini mbona alikuja ka generalize watu wote? In fact, like me mtu kusema tulitolewa Koinange. Let me let me use myself. Ananijua, Koinange nilitoka nikatokea wapi? Nimekuwa that Kenya. If we beg a government to give us opportunity to work. Hata housemaid Kenya we are getting 5000. Nimeifanya kazi kama hiyo. Kenya 5000. Right? We are mm -hmm. here. At least mtu mwenye analipwa chini ni 20,000 a husband. We are here to support our family, not that prostitution mm -hmm. yenye anasema. Na ni mwangapi ameai pata? How many? Mimi hata kitu nilikuwa nataka if I can face him right now without fear. I have two question for him. If now we can call her sister or her mother prostitute, atafilaje? The second question, how many opportunities are metupe to kiwa Kenya to kakata, we decide to come over here to do prostitution? Uh -huh. That are the two questions I can ask him. Uh -huh. So let us forget about this. Let Kenya be having this unity. What wakwe na unity? Let us have love. Because this is not love even unity itself. Ni kama wana to scatter. They kick us. We no life back to Kenya sa hivi levi ziko. We are here to hustle. Mm -hmm. So yes, the way you can see me, I have hustled since Kitambo. Now mm -hmm. I'm doing that to avoid. I've been girl for four years now. Mm -hmm. Comparing my life when time nilikuwa Kenya na now, I can see now I'm something. I, I have moved on from somewhere to somewhere. I'm, I'm not that Anne. Si uko ule humble girl I used to be before. My name is Anne, mm -hmm. sorry. It's not the same. No, no. <clears throat> Lakini why no. anakuja kuongea that, that, that is nonsense. Wacha tuniseme hiyo <laughs> on behalf of Gulf. Alifanya <laughs> kitu mbaya sana. Na yeah. let me say at least we need leaders that they have mercy because that man ana utu hata kidogo. We need leaders that even embassies when you wanna feel the pain of Kenyans. 
mothers and fathers bigger huyo ni mwanaume ako na kids but i don't know kama hivyo ndio anaweza judge sisters mothers kids watu wengine you know we come from different background now what mm-hmm. if god have blessed you don't think we are so blessed like others some of us we are here to change our life to change mm-hmm. our generation we choose not to steal mm. na nikuulize nikuulize yes. unaona hizo remarks zake zitatuma mdharauliwe huko na yes let me ask you lin Uh, I will make in the opposite way. I'm a okay. man. Mm. I'm a man now. I want to marry you. Mm-hmm. Watu wa kwenu wanasema wewe ni mbaya. Who am I to support you? You are good. Will I risk to marry you? Yenye mm-hmm. nikio nimepata nyumbani kwenu wanasema wewe ni mbaya. Nini? Ametuwekea first priority yao watu kutumok. They will not see us. They will see us like a prostitute. In case I'm stand at a repeal huko nje. I have solved a lot of issues kama hizo. Mwarabu anasiniki kwa room ya msichana na nalala ni yeye. Then watasema msichana ndiye anajiuza which is very painful. Mtu amekuja ametuanika mbele ya watu they are prostitutes. These people they will handle us with bitterness hata kwa nyumba zao they will see us as prostitutes. When we are trying to make something good they will see us as what? That is the problem. Mm-hmm. Ali, alikuwa kuja huko a defend watu wake na ongea mambo mzuri kitu ina make sense hata wewe mm-hmm. unaiona hiyo picture for real i don't know Miss, the, me, let me say he was not in a right sense i will not judge him because mm-hmm. if you was yani mtu mwenye ana think like a human being awezi ongea kitu kama hiyo mbele ya watu watu wengi mm-hmm. wako so in deep pain as now as we are speaking mm-hmm. kisa na Pen- maana mm-hmm. yes endelea No go on. Ju, we, we we expect this man wakati atakuja huku at least atataka kujua sisters wetu wako huku. Mm. Anafaa kuja angalie lifestyle yenye tunaishi, angalie working hours yenye tunafanya na hata sarali ambayo yenye tunafanyia kazi. Ndiye kuja anze kusema, "Oh, anafaa to support." Mm. Usijaji na matunda moja yenye likuja ikaribika huku. Even though those people they run away, they have their reasons. What wangalienge before mtu aanze ku judge someone don't judge by appearance ama wangalie kitu kingine wanafaa wa respect mm. it's not easy mtu ana work 14 hours some of them they are sleeping in floor some mm. of them even food to eat is a problem na mtu anakuja mm. yeye akiwa amebarikiwa Mungu amempatia watoto wake na kazi kwa government to speak that nonsense is not good ungetaka ajue nini penye yako what i can say now as an ajaribu kukonzida human rights anafa ajue we are here to hustle to make money to change our family kama angeweza kutupea kazi more than 500,000 people wenye wako girl sawa kuja tutoe huku tuache prostitution atupe kazi na kama hawezi let her let him mind his own business angangane na kazi yake kwa viongozi afanye kitu inamgusu because Asa. we will not tolerate that nonsense again thank you for mm-hmm. your time thank you so much and for joining in welcome na ukwe na usiku poa yoto wow as you can see guys i started by saying um kenyan sin saudi ahmad and if you're just home comments then you and let someone else to join kwa live i hear kuna uyu politician alienda saudi arabia bado i think ako huko na alisema from observations zake the reason why maybe wasichana wetu wanatreatiwa venye wanatreatiwa ni kwa sababu sisi tumechukua wasichana kutoka kwa Inange na Sabina Joy au ndio wamepelekwa Gulf and i think those are nini those are remarks are very unfortunate and i see a lot of people making fun especially on the people who who work uko kwa Gulf countries and it's purely wrong because if for example umekuwa huko kama mimi and you see how okay tuwezi defend tuseme maybe hakuna wasichana wanafanya hizo vitu but venye tu ana sema it's so unfair for you to generalize watu useme kila mtu mwenye yako girl sijui ni prostitute sijui ni nani so uh, naona watu wengi sana wananitumia request let me add uh
we had a gentleman as we engage in the comment. Chebi now on. Hi, yeah. Ah, don't mind me, Rain, by the way. Because. Hi, guy, Mambo. Four. Me, Musi, my dear, my share gap. So, anyway. Niambie. Niambie. Sasa, e conversation unayona ate. Na wu po api. Actually, I'm so mm -hmm. much disappointed with who you see you and I was song, Coco see you, whatever. I'm so much disappointed. And uh, I'm in Saudi. Mm -hmm. And I have been here for eight years now. Wow. Yeah. Eight mm -hmm. years. And I'm in contract and I do go outside. So I know both the rights. Yeah, contract mm -hmm. and I mm -hmm. So me, my point is, whatever he did, you know, okay, at a kama mtoto, mtoto, at a kama akona mtoto muizi, haongeangu baya uyo mtoto. Yani uyo mama ana supporting that baby. You know, mm -hmm. So what if he was supposed to do? He was not supposed to go online a post such an answer. You know, because later he realized he did a mistake and he went again back and he deleted. Why did he delete? Mm -hmm. So what he was supposed to do? Miss mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Nita kuna wachana wanafanyanga iyo kazi. Najua. Najua wango watuenye wako saudu wanajua iyo maneno. But the point is, watuenye wako contract na watuenye wanafanya iyo kazi, we are all included. Mm -hmm. Mimi Rin, I came here when I was 21 years here, years old. Ata ta sijui maisha, sijia kula laha, unaona? So, mm -hmm. mtu mama uyu kuenda kuda kwa, I feel so bad for my sisters. I thank God, mi niko sawa, niko poa. Na na nipo mchahara poa, more than 60,000. Okay, mm -hmm. get that clear. Mm -hmm. But the point is, if he came here, at least me, my point is, atetewa Kenya, yeah. At least they could have uh, raised the salary. Say, salary ya kukuja ni 20k. All the sacrifice. Okay, it's better than kukosa. Unaona? But mm -hmm. imagine if people were able to afford 1500. Mukenya, areto ya pa Saudi, analipua hiyo 20k, 800. Mm -hmm. Or 900. Na kuna mufilipino anasebo, ata uyo mukenya anafanya kazi mwa buku riko mufilipino. Mm -hmm. But mukenya analipo pesa kidogo na mufilipino analipo pesa. But the point is, unajua these people, they are rich, they are rich, they can afford that 1500. Mm -hmm. So another thing, and I want Yanni to make clear. I wish Mimi in the office Kenya. There is my sister also who is here, and she works in a company called Mahara. I don't know Nanny and Naweza on there. Yanni Mutumwen Naweza Jurikana. There is a company called Mahara Company. I went there last month. Hiya. When I went there, unapata wa Kenya, wako hapo, wako sijui na three weeks, hawajaeta kazi. Imagine rini mutu wako hapa, mwezi inaisha, hana sijui job. Na iyo company, inachukua pesa mingi kisana. I wish a job za kupeana. Isha Shaza, nasikia akona eko. Aha, uh, uh, ata, ata ni mrudishe na sikia kona eko. Naona pia anasema the best thing uyo mtu angeenda kufanya ni kutetea negotiation za wa Kenya. Dana anasema matusi iliharibu kila kitu. Shinde anasema anabanwa na maneno ni mitikie tu aonge as we look for a gentleman. Kwani watu wetu wako wapi? At least uh, I want to hear from a gentleman dio pia tujue ulisikia aje, ulifeel aje kuhusu Ulifil ad nini ungetaka mlikuwa mna expect nini kwa
to represent at least wenye walikuja wenye walikuja huko hello 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 eh mimi naitwa Alice okay and uh, I'm in Saudi mhm uh-huh. so kitu ni nini ningetaka kusema ni eti unajua lini mtu tu hapa Saudi kuna kujanga sisi kama wageni mhm hakuna uh-huh. and then bear in mind e country inakuanga see is not a free country so you expect wale watu wenye wamekuchukua yani sponsor wako and the family hao ndio watu wenye unafaa kukaa na wao mm. you don't know them mhm uh, unakuta maybe they are, they are, usha ona signals za you can be raped kitu kama hiyo mhm una call kwa agency then agency hao ndio watakulaumu mhm ama agency wakuambie tutakusaidia or walk block huyo mtu atakaa hapo will you die on your knees no you can't die on your knees utaamua uh-huh. wacha nitoke huko nipatane na ile kitu nitapatana na huko huko nje mm-hmm. because hata ukikaa hapo ndani you can kill you and you can do nothing uh-huh. the people when you are uwa do you expect huyo mtu anaweza akakutetea haya una na kujua na pia mtu aliuliwa kwa nyumba. Mhm. Ameenda mpaka amezikwa. Mhm. Uh-huh. Ndio watakuja ku notice huyo mtu alizikwa. Ndio wana, wanatoa hiyo kuli. Mhm. Mimi nataka na lakini unasikia sponsor kwa huyo mtu alitoroka. Mhm. Kwa kama ikifanya inapatikana huyo mtu alinyongwa. Hata kama ni mtu alikuwa anaweza mtu akakunyonga dena aka peleka bado akaenda akakuzika. Na hiyo sponsor hapo hajawahi report case kama hiyo person. Mhm. Nikuulize ni ukweli. Unakuja unapata? Mhm. Oh, ende nilikuwa nakuuliza. Una... Oh, sorry. Uni mm. kuna wasichana wetu wenye wanafanya ukahaba huko. Yes, wako. Mhm. Na nile mtu alikuja huko akakuja ajui chochote wewe ni mgeni huku wengi watu wenye unajua they are the sponsors and the agency hmm. na pia nini unaweza kuwa unajua unajua vile unaweza fikia embassy unaweza pia piga simu kwa embassy hmm. but they will pick your call mhm kuna wengine hata unapata hapo anakuambia toka uende na ni usiku mhm uko utatoka uende wapi na ukishikwa huko nje utaambiwa ulikuwa unafanya kazi gani? Mhm. Itasema unafanya umalaya juu e country it's not a free country you cannot express yourself unless the government fights for you. Mhm. Penye huyo mheshimiwa ako ungetaka ajue nini? Mimi ningetaka ajue kitu moja is a disgrace to our Kenyan government alikuja huku ili kodi ange yani angeita watu several angeenda kwa embassy asikie wale watu wenye wako na kesi huko wameshapiga simu kitu kama hiyo mm. aseme hao watu waletwe then wakishaletwa wake explain shida yao angejua from there mm. atataku issue aje mm-hmm. but yeye anaenda tu direct ameenda kwa mkutano He is talking on behalf of kitu ana evidence mm. na ndio maana hata yeye alikonduku without an evidence. Okay. Mm. Sawa, sawa tamam. Asante, thank you for joining. I hope penye ata watch ni ata ata atasikia hayo maneno and I wish you all the best. Ndio. Thank you very much for hosting me. Okay. Ah uh, ha so tunaendelea na hii conversation and you can see wanaongea watu wameamua wacha sasa waongee and if you're just joining us karibu sana we are having a very you know a bit of a sensitive conversation about our, our Kenyan sisters in Saudi Arabia 
Uh, I hope muliona on Thursday there is one member of parliament alienda akasema ati wenye tunatuma the problem na the reason why wasichana wetu wanapitia vitu zenye wanapitia it's because we are sending our uh, prostitutes uh, from Koinange and Sabina Joy to Saudi Arabia and I'm like where jeez uh, I I I refuse to agree I refuse to agree that's what's happening and as you can see yes kuna watu wamesema yes in a happening lean lakini you should not generalize watu and he was in a very better position to even negotiate good working conditions salary na vitu kama hizo um kama hizo kwa instead of instead of kwa generalize and i see alitoa comments ali, alitoa huo ujumbe down so maybe i say hi to a couple of people shinde uh, na ku nini si, sija kuona princess labda kuna agency alichukua client wake huko <laughs> umeanza <laughs> Hi cute blessing how are you kuna watu wanasema labda ni client wake alichukuliwa akapelekwa Saudi Arabia wewe mko na mabaya aha uh -huh. and um Kalida nasema ni msalimie mambo Afrika asante uh, sana ni na receive mapenzi and Wasobi anasema to accept request yake so i'm just i'm, I'm quickly looking for a gentleman hatujapata um, a gentleman pia tunataka kusikia views pia wa what do they think about uh, these remarks? Uh, Wasobi, hi. Hi, Lin Mambo. Good, Sana Mambo. Poor Sana Lin Mekumis. Hi, Santi, you go happy? Mini Kobaharin. Oh, Kobaharin? Yeah. Wewe hii 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 story unasikia ya ndugu zetu wa Saudi venye waliambiwa una feel aje? Aki una feel painful. Mm. Sababu lean kwa mfano. Yaani huyu mheshimiwa venye alikuja huku hivi ange angekutana na wakenya wenzake aonge 1 2 3 alafu ndio pengine aende kwa kwa hiyo mkutano yale alikuwa ame ameitwa mhm ndio sasa ndio sasa pia awauliza maswali mhm kwa mfano kama mi kama my side mimi nilikuja na nilikuja na ofisi fulani mhm but mi contract yangu kwenye nilifika huko hivi contract yangu ilikuwa inaniambia nitanunuliwa everything but venye nilifika huko nikaambiwa everything nitakuwa nakinunulia. Mhm. Mm yeah. So so sasa so, boy hivi unajua uwezo kuapishana na Mwarabu juu uko kwake. So mm -hmm. kwa venye atakuwa amekwambia. Mhm. Mm so mimi nilikubali. Mm -hmm. Lakini kuna challenge zenye tunapitia ama challenge yenye mimi napitia. Mhm. Mm kwa mfano uki, kwa mfano kiishi kwa wenyewe lazima utaheshimu mama wa nyumba ndio kae vizuri hata kwa mfano kama boss anakupenda but wewe usiwahi kuwasaidia bwana kuwasaidia mama ndio kae na amani mimi mimi nafanya kazi yangu vizuri sana mhm mm but challenge yenye napitia Naniambia my net is a bit poor. Ibu konfamini na mimi kama the net is poor. Ndiyo tujue kuzi nanionyesha good uh, connection as we try to get her back. Uh, magia nasema ngapadana na huyo mbamba ngangoa meno. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chebi, uh, Chebi anasema nini? I just want to know if my audio is clear when you mna watch so that we can continue. We have like 10 minutes. Huh? We have like 10 minutes to go naona naambiwa iko sawa so make sure kama una request una request kama uko na connection yenye ni strong ndio tufanye nini ndio tuendelee si ndio so i want to add some conversation i see i have a lot of requests hey sir mama mama hey hey how are you niko poa niko poa kabisa 
Hata mimi niko poa nashukuru Mungu amekuwa mwema, amekuwa mwaminifu. Aha. Uh-huh. Amenibeba, nimekuwa salama, sina shida yeah. but vitu zingine zinafanyikanga tunawasema Unajua kuna vitu zinaweza tendeka, useme tu ni mtu waelewi. Na kama hujaipitia shida usionge we nyamaza. Uko wapi? Nyamaza tu kabisa. Mimi niko Saudi. Okay. Niko Saudi Arabia. Na mimi nashukuru Mungu kabisa. Mimi naenda kumaliza mwaka. Okay. E, na nashukuru Mungu kabisa. Ni mimi by the way nilipata familia mzuri. Mhm. Ile siku tu niliingia kwa hii nyumba. Yenye kuna watu wazuri lini. Na kuna siku uliongea na mtoto wa my sister. Nilikuona tu hapa TikTok. Mm. Lakini yeye mm. alimaliza contract alirudi na kuru. Okay. Anaitwa I Irene Joki. Mliongea tu hivi. <laughs> yeah. So, yeye alimaliza contract na akarudi. Mm. Nikamwambia weka mama arudi wacha mimi nifanye kazi. Lakini wacha nikwambie. Mimi mm. kenye huwa naambia watu watu wako different ni kama Kenya utapata mtu mzuri upate mtu mbaya lakini usikuje ku, usikuje tu kuongea mambo niju kama mimi leo madam aliniuliza malaya ni nini ni kama bebe na don't know mhm uh-huh. eh, aliniuliza ananitaga Susan Susan what is what is prostitute nikasema you just ask your husband i don't know Nilimwambia ask boss I don't know. So wanataka wajue. Yeah. Eh. Eh wanataka wajue ndio wakusumbue. Wanataka wajue ndio wakuhanda. Mimi nilimwambia madam I don't know mimi nikaanza kucheka. Kijana yake anafanya kwa anafanya airport. Akaniuliza you mean Susan you don't know? Nikamwambia yes sir I don't know. So wewe kama sisi yenyewe mimi nasemaga kama ni watu ni mtu mmoja alikukosea wacha kuingiza watu wote As in mimi lini nimelelewa kanisani full gospel tukiwa Sunday school na ndo najua yudhia furu venye ilikuwa ngatafu Mimi si malaya mimi sina hiyo damu Okay kuna watu huku nje wanawekaga vitu TikTok and by the way hata sisi wa Kenya tunajihaibishanga Aha sisi tunajihaibishanga kabisa. Mimi kuna wakati niliona TikTok. Vitu fani fani baka nikauliza iko sa, hii Saudi moja ama ni mimi naona mbaya. Lakini mimi kenye ningesema tu mtu akitumwa akuje atetea at least watu kiasi. Eh, una unaongea by the hour watu wanangojaga tu kitu kidogo hizi ndio kidogo ndio waanze kumoku wafanyikazi. Unafikiria uh-huh. saizi wale wafanyikazi wenye watateswa wenye, wale wenye watapitia unafikiria unajua wa watu watawaambia hata watu wao Kenya wanasema wako hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi niambie utapitia mangapi Eh utapitia mangapi Mm So you... ni Sankoko na mjua nimeishi na rock Mm na Sankoko hakuna mambo yake yenye sijui Ni go, ni Mungu tu kumuinua Only God kumuinua. Awache kufikiria ati tulitoka Kenya, tumekuja kufanya umalaya. Lini ni kitanda yangu, mimi nalalaga hapa, sijatoka out. Mm. Nendaga nikituma, na, natokanga nikituma pesa. Hawa watu watakagi uonane na wanaume hivi, saa ngapi utatoka uonane na wanaume nje? By the way alitukosea na mimi Kenya nitasema Mungu tu ashughulike. Only God. Mm. Tujatoka ni kupenda. Lini niko na watoto watatu. Nimetoka nao watu na mini single mother. Nimetoka ni juu ya hao watoto. Lini ningekuwa na Bwana singekuja Saudi Arabia. Ndio kwa vile unataka watoto wako wasome na wakule. Mimi hata sijakuja kufanyia familia yangu ati mama yangu na baba yangu hapana. Mimi nimekuja kufanyia watoto wangu wakae mzuri. Mm. Lakini huyo mzee ametuaribu by the way ametuangusha unasikia mama ananiuliza Susan what is the meaning of a prostitute niambia akianza kukuuliza hivyo mwisho wake atakuanza kukuita hadi ajue ameangusha wa Kenya si sisi wote tunafanya hiyo kazi na si mm. na wale wenye wako nje mimi si kupenda kwao pia i don't know but mimi mimi kwa upande wangu mimi si kufurahia mimi sankoko nimekuwa na rock nimempigia kura Sankok nimejua familia yake huwa tunaenda Osim hiyo loji yake enye ameangusha wa Kenya na akitaka mzuri ya apologize. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Ama arudi kwa hiyo ofisi awaambie 
ilikuwa tu mistake unaona sasa hiyo itatuma mdharau liwe huko kabisa lean tutaanza unasikia usikii mimi nakwambia niliulizwa what is the meaning of a prostitute so nasikia niliulizwa ndio wajue zaidi na hawa watu msikue social sana Hawa watu usitake kujua mambo yao na wao wasitake kujua yako. Nijui huyo mama alishinda tu akiniuliza Susan, what wanaenda ananitaga Susan? What is the meaning of that? Naomba madam me I don't know. Mimi niko naomba mpaka ninaimba. Usha hii ringithi yake kosho jikoni. Ndio asikusumbue. <laughs> eh? Ibo ni mpaka nilianza nili nakumbuka mpaka kuna haka kayumbo kaliniingia kakikuyu nenda ako gosha mwadhani tondone we munyubi niliringithia kegosho akaniambia what are you saying kamwambia me i'm i'm worshiping my god akaenda yeah. kijana akarudi kijana akarudi tena suzan my mother amenituma nikuulize what is the meaning of niju hata mm. si wanaona kwa 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 news zao yeah sawa suzan wake mm no endelea mzee wake ni mzee wake ni mtu mkubwa mzee wake ni mtu mkubwa anajulikana na mimi najua anapatana na hao watu sasa lakini isipokuwa ni Mungu tu huyu mzee si mbaya si kwenye niliingia hii nyumba mara ya kwanza aliniambia Susan sisi ni watu tunajua Mungu Mungu wao they know their god na wewe ni mtoto wa mtu unasikia mwenye huyo boss aliniambia wewe ni mtoto wa mtu na hatuwezi kukutesa sawa kama so wewe we fanya kazi yako na si, na si tutakuwa tunakupewa salary wewe fanya kazi yako na ukitaka kukaa na sisi unasikia venye niambia ukikuwa mzuri tutakuwa mzuri so mimi mm. niko sawa nashukuru Mungu na nimefurahi kunilete by the way ilikuwa inaniwasha sana ni sankok but mimi mimi kwa upande wangu mimi namsamehea mimi namsamehea but akaya kijua chungu imetoa eh, kwanza hiyo ya kuulizwa Susan what is what is the meaning of prostitute yeah yeah Sawa, aki asanti lini salimia watu Kenya tumewamiss. Wacha tuchape dogo. <laughs> sawa, sawa. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Haya, sasa kuna hapo ni Susan. Oh, at least ipo one dogo. Babe. Come on. Nisaidie maji kwa glass. Pole, nimepata nime kiu. Nipo at least tukiona nikiona mnacheka kidogo. Acha tuone kuna watu wamesema wamemsamehea, wengine wanasema what he said was very mean. Alikuwa na opportunity ya kukuja kutetea wa Kenya. Naona watu wamejoin. I think sahi ndio wase wame Santi. Thanks. I think sahi ndio watu wametokelezea so nimeambua nipeane minutes kidogo kidogo so let's see if we can do three or four more people acha tupeane dakika tatu tatu our topic of discussion ni ile mambo yenye najua mmesikia hayo sana yenye tunatuma huko ni prostitutes kutoka pale Koinange ama Sabina make sure pia uki request at least your internet is strong so that we don't end up iki hang sini sawa so i was connecting someone but i think internet yake iko weak kidogo so what okay, another let's look for one more person uh, i have so many requests so please bear with me as i try to figure out na uki join please um ukijoy make sure uh unajua five uh, three minutes maximum ndio kila mtu afanye nini ndio kila mtu uh, aongee si ndio so if you want to join a request and you have a strong connection karibu ni sana mudoni karibu doris karibu lucy peris all of you guys karibu ni to this live we are discussing we are talking about um the mean remarks zenye zilimekiwa na one person mwenye alikuja huko akasema the reason wasichana wetu wanapitia ile mambo wanapitia ni kwa sababu tuliwatoa pale kwa inange so pia huyo internet yake ni kama ina, inakataa ago let's give her a chance to one kama ita connect hi terry hello hi terry poa sana uko poa niko poa lakini he huku nikushuhudia mama uko wapi niko saudia 
Ebu tuambie tu nimeambua ni wape time kidogo mtuambie easy. Yeah, hata mimi sitaki kuongea sana. Okay. Juu unajua watu wako na hasira juu mtu anapambana na ma, ma, ma ya nyumba ya mtu mm. na mtu Kenya kwa huko na disability zake anakuja ku kukutaja maneno yale watu huko wanapitia magumu lini venye tunaongea hivi kuna msichana tulikuja na yeye alikuwa na ukorofi kidogo na bosi wake na sasa tangu tuongee naye ilikuwa date 20 mpaka saa hii akomteja na alikuwa anadai kuwa siji wanasema siji amebakisha siji siku ngapi mara arudi kendi sasa huyo mzee anafaa tu aombe msamaha mimi kwa mimi lini mimi si sehemu ya niko vibaya ama niko vizuri kwa kimimi Naweza sema vinye nilifika mara ya kwanza. Niliona kuwa ni kuzuri si kubaya hivyo. Lakini lini kila nyumba iko na mambo yake. Hata kama uko na watu wazuri, hata kama wazazi ni wazuri, lakini kuna tu shetani mmoja kwa hiyo nyumba atakufanya mpaka roho yako ifanye nini? Ikatae kabisa. Hmm. Mimi venye naongea hivi, mtoto wa miaka 12 lini. Yaani unapata mzee anasema watu wako nafanya huko mala si kupenda kwao. Mtoto wa miaka mbili aliniambia atani atanipiga nini? Alinionyesha sign. Unasikia? Na unajua ananiambia kwa nini? Kalienda kwa choo kakatumia na kanaacha huko hakumwaga maji. Anakuja kunibishia. Wameniweka jina Nancy. Nancy nashindwa nini mtu ameharibikiwa nini? Kufika. Kati hiyo choo iko chapa nilisikia kama nezaragua mtoto ilibidi mpaka ameshtuka ame amekimbia kwa nyanya yake kumuita na anakuja anaongelele nyuma ya nyanya yake akisema ha hebu nijaribu kuniguza nitakushoot uende kwenye ukiwa maiti unasikia alafu mtu ako Kenya anaongea ati malaya wako huko si kupenda kwa wanawake lini wanakuja huko si raha ni shida ya mtu inafanya mtu akuje huko ni mtu ajiendeleshe kwa maisha yani kimaisha Si eti mtu alikuja huku afanye umalai kupenda kwake. Lini venye tunaongea hivi? Mimi huyu mzee alianza kuniapproach, kuni, kuni siji kuniapproach ama kuniangalia na miezi sita ama miezi tatu. Alafu wanajifanyanga hawaelewi lugha. Unasikia? Ukiambia mtu no, mm, mm. unaona historia nyingine ongeleka ati kupagwa siji nini? Hiyo kitu hiyo kitu ni ukweli watu watu kusema umalaye kuna mtu anataka kukaa in peace na huku tulikuja tuliambiwa usi usijaribu kuongea na bwana wa wenyewe mimi chenye ninafanyanga hapa lini naekanga sana akili kwa mwanamke ndio unaona nakaa hapa alafu mkenya ni nani na hasira lakini juu niko na hasira na control hasira yangu juu huyu mtoto venye nilimwamkia hapa Ningine saa hii singekuwa kwa hii kazi labda ningekuwa nimefungwa unaona lakini tunajaribu ku control tunajicontrol na huku tuko na mambo zinatukula akili mtu unakuja kwa mtandao unajifanya uko sawa na hauko sawa juu ya nini ya stress ya huku chenye mimi nitaambia huyo mzee aombe watu wa huku msamaha juu si si watu watu wa kuja huku raha mtu kutoroka ni shida ilifanya labda hata alitaka kupakwa akatoroka Pengine alitishiwa akatoroka. Wengine hata huo wanashikiwa kizu mtu anajikuta ametoroka. Unaona? So chenye mimi nitaambia huo mzee aombe watu wa huku msama na jaribu ku control hiyo mdomo yake juu wanasemanga mtu kiwete anakuanga kiweta hadi akili. Tu, 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 watu wa huku wataelewa juu mtu alifika huko akakuwa haendi mahali anakaa tu hapo. Ona mi mali na kapa ndio huwa nakulia ndio huwa naka kutoka ni kutuma pesa na kurudi. Unaona? Sasa mtu atatoka huko aje aseme timalaye. Eh? Mimi venye naongea hivi niko na zangu. Huu mzee hata venye tunaongea mzee wa hapa hivi. Kitu imefanya amenitoka za yote anashinda ananio ati ati nanzi 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 ananitaita. Mimi niliamua nilisema kama ni ni vibaya ni vibaya huku tuliambiwa ukikuja uwezi ongea na bwana wa mtu na uwezi pendana na mtu huku na ni hiyo kitu hiyo wanaume wakikuja kwa hii nyumba unafungiwa kwa rumi yako huwezi wanana na wanaume eh? so mimi hata juzi vinye tunaongea hivi mimi nime nimejaribu kunini kusukuma huyu bosi wangu na karibu ni mpesi lab na ni, yani ile kumsukuma ile nilimsukuma alisimama kuniangalia eh? Aka ni, aka, ni kama anajuza hii kitu imetoa wapi nguvu kuanzia hapo ananiheshimu mpaka sasa hivi 
na mimi nikimaza kazi yangu ni kwa rumu yangu siendangi mahali mimi hata sitting room siwezi jikuta nitajikuta kama labda hawako na nimeitwa na, ma, na mama na huku ukiweka akili kwa mama utakaa vizuri sana wakati mtu aliniatarishia hivyo nikatranslatea nika mama yake unajua mama yake alinijibu nini atuno atu kwani unaokopa tu ni mtoto mdogo ati ati anakuwa anakuambia kwani anajua nini na wakakanyagia hiyo kwa unaona so huyo mzee aache kuongea kitu yeye anajua hajui kitu anasema ni nini na yeye hayuko huku watu wanapitia lini sawa kama pole pole sana asante na asante asante have 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 a good uh, evening ni sawa Thank you. Wow, I think sometimes there are so many things we take for granted. Unasikia mtu anasema and I don't know. You know sometimes watu wanauliza nga oh kama mnateseka huko mbona msirudi nyumbani? Oh kwani nani aliwa force muende huko? But I've been in those places and these people are some of the most hard working people I know. So hata ukisema tio nani anawaambia nga waende huko we mwenye uko hapo uko na kazi gani nyu utawapatia? You know and ukipata mtu ni representative anafaa ende atetee wa Kenya. I think tulikuwa na issues mingi sana za kusolve salary, better working conditions, wasichana wetu wamepitia vitu mobu huko. I think ilikuwa a good opportunity yake kuonyesha unity na kutetea wasichana, but I also want to hear your views. Um ndio naona watu wengi sasa wame join lakini I'll try as much as possible kupatia watu time na kama ulikuwa ume join please tunaomba usi request tena ndio at least tu, wenye tunafaa kupatia chance guys come on let, let's make it clean so that kila mtu sana sana mambo vincent nzuri sana wewe wewe uko wapi mimi niko kenya ah sasa wewe tuko tu hapa na wewe pamoja eh yeah, lakini nina msichana wangu wako um, saudi ako na miaka ngapi ako na miaka 25 sasa wewe kama mzazi venye ya mambo na venye umesikia watoto wetu wanaitwa huko what will you feel aze yenyewe sikupiri poa na kwa sababu ni ya serikali ya Kenya kumtuma huko ilikuwa kwenda kutetea haki za wafanyikazi wetu sio kusema kile wametoka Koinange ama Sabina Joy vile alikuwa nasema yeye yeah, alienda tu kurapoka na akawa na ana, tunamchukulia tu kama mwenda wazimu mwenye hakuwa anajua Kenya alikuwa alienda kufanya huko. Mm. Ina request huyo mbunge ikiwezekana aombe tu msamaha aseme si kutarajia itakuwa hivi. Nili, ama mm. maybe tumemisa mi interpret vile pengine yeye alikuwa anafikiria. Lakini mm. wa Kenya wanaumia Saudia, wa Kenya wanafanya kazi ngumu hata kama watesi wote kuna wale ambao kama huyo wangu wako sawa na huwa anatuma pesa of course mm. na anasema yeye akifuata sheria za huko bado hajaona shida yoyote na mmeweza kuongea na wale ambao tumeona uli mtoto wako ni na yeye kila... yeye ana feel aje kuhusu hii statement Uh, hiyo pia imemuuma tu hivyo hivyo anasema sasa sisi mimi nimekuja hapa salama si kwa nani mbaya nimekuja tu kazi imekuwaje sasa tuitu ya tumetoka sabina joy wengine wametoka ushago kabisa remote huko kuna kuna agents ambao wanaenda wana recruit watoto kutoka nyumbani reserve wanakuja hawajui chochote wana weko kwa ndege na wanaenda kazi hata mm. kama huyo utasema aje kama huyo wangu alitoka shule akakaa hapa Kenya akawa frustrated sina kazi pia sina pesa sina nini mahitaji yake siwezi budu ilibidi yeye mwenyewe sasa aungane na hao agents na wakamtengenezea passport na akaenda na nashukuru na, Mungu uh-huh. endelea endelea nashukuru Mungu hadi leo sija aja nilipotia kisa chochote ananiambia yeye mahali alienda ako salama na wewe kama mzazi ukisikia watu yes. wanauliza mbali kama oh wewe kama mzazi mbona ulituma mtoto wako Saudi Arabia mbona unaitikia mtoto wako aende Saudi wewe unasema nini 
sisi wazazi unajua tukisaa peraka mtoto shule amemaliza form 4 na amefika ile umri anajisimamia yeye mwenyewe kuna mm. decision zingine atuweze wafanyia kama mimi si kumwambia ati siwezi amka tu hivi niambie mtoto atiamka hapa waenda upande ndege uende Saudi yeye mwenyewe alikutana na wenzake wakashauriana akatoa maoni mimi ki alichoniambia tu ni kwamba baba nimepata passport nataka kwenda kujaribu kazi Saudi mimi nilikataa kwa kiroho yangu kutokana na zile story nilikuwa nasikia kutoka huko uh-huh. lakini mtoto mwenyewe unajua nayo tuko na mama tuko na mimi nikaona kama mama yake yeye alikuwa aware na wanaelewana sasa unajua uwezi ingilia tena mambo ya wasichana sana uh-huh. nikastukia nikastuk, amepanda ndege na ameenda uh-huh. but the first week simu yake haikuwa inaingia unajua akienda huko rasma amalize weekend ajue namba za huko nini apate wifi ndio tuko ndio connect na sisi uh-huh. in fact si kuwa na kura hiyo wiki moja karibu nipate yali sasa lakini baada ya wiki moja nashukuru Mungu alipiga simu akasema mimi nilifika salama nilikuwa nataka nikae nione vile kuna kaa ndio maana nilikuwa mteja so nisimalizie wengine nafasi mi nashukuru sana lakini nasema ni makosa sana kwa huyo sango kusema mambo aliyoyasema na na, na muomba aombe msamaha kabisa juu hii machozi yenye wasichana wetu wanalia ngambo haitaenda bure na atafuta nafasi tena arudi huko huko aseme hapana hawa ni watoto wetu ambao wamekosa ajira Kenya wamekuja kujitafutia wape walipe mshahara mzuri wape working conditions mzuri na wafuate sheria za huko tuishi na amani nimeshukuru sana kwa mjadala asante asante Vincent wow thank okay, you okay bye, bye. Thank you thank you so much I, I, okay. yeah i believe it was also in, especially mwenye ametuma mtoto wake Saudi so ndio watu saingine wa avoid kulizanga mtu hizo maswali za mbona unatuma mtoto wako mbona wewe ulituma mtoto Saudi and i've been you know i've been in, in the gulf and unajua I think the worst part ni kujua these are really hard working people. Now of course wenye tu mmesema hatuwezi sema kuna wasichana wenye hawajapeleka ukahaba huko. Lakini wewe ku generalize unajua hata I think the first thing alikuwa anafaa kufanya ni kuuliza hata mbona basi wasichana wetu wamekuja wakaleta ukahaba huko. Kwa sababu hata kuna watu wanasema au ni wenye hutoroka au ni wenye maybe life yao hawakupata expectations zao venye walikuwa nafikiria wataenda wapate kuko hakukuwa ama hata walitreteniwa i think it would have been really important for yeye ku figure out ni nini inatuma basi kama hata wasichana huku kwetu wasichana wameleta ukahaba huku Saudi Arabia what's the cause cause as a leader you should go deeper utafute hiyo course si ndio aya let me let me see if i can add some few more people please tuzingatie time uki come two minutes so that we can get more views and two minutes probably alafu unaachia unaachia huyo mtu mwingine si ni sawa aya alafu make sure please internet yako iko strong ndio at least please yenye iko na echo acha ni uh, guys for joining if you are just joining us hey hello poleni sasa poa sana mambo poa lini hebu tuambie wewe una feel aje ku sweet topic ya leo kwa sababu saudi atujenda kwa sababu ya raha na tungekuwa kwa inange hata kwa inange wenye wako kwa inange wanapata pesa sasa huyo mwanaume mzima mzazi kama huyo kuongea matope hiyo ni maturity. <laughs> Hatujasema kuna wale hawafanyi hivyo. Kuna wale labda wamepatikana kwa visaka hizo. <laughs> But kuna wale kama sisi tunakaa kwa nyumba na tumetujia. Kuna wale watu wanarepiwa. Mtu kuongea tu watu wametoka kwa inange hiyo ni kumaanisha hata tukirepiwa watu Ha? Mtu kama huyo hata afai kufanyia serikali kazi. Atuwakilishi kwa sababu anaongea mambo ya kiutoto. How comes grown up man kama huyo anaanza kuongea maneno ya utoto kama huyo? Anajaribu kusema nini? Anajaribu kusema tumetoa umalaya kutoka Kenya tupeleke Saudi Arabia. Ajefanya vizuri sana. Hata nikiongea nasikia na kwa emotional acha nitakuja siku nyingine pia. Bati nimeweza sema tuko huko hata siombe msamaha. 
hiyo that's why Mungu amemfanya akue kiweka Unajua nimekuja ku realize kuna watu wengine hawakupewa akili. Alipewa kazi kwa sababu yeye ni disabled. That's why hana akili ya kuja kutuongelea. Mtu kama huyu hawezi kutetea. Kama tu serikali inaweza tufanyia jambo watu huyo mjinga kwa hiyo siti. Kwa sababu ajuiche na anafanya. Asanteni sana. Okay. Sawa, sawa pretty. Asanti. Uh, thank you. Um, I do not take uh, you guys uh, during that head. Uh, Sante ni sana. Uh, let me see nani mwingine ame request. I don't even want to wind up right now because I can see this is the time majority of you are uh, more people. And uh, if you joined, please uh, try to keep your remarks uh, short so that tuneza patia watu wengine wakati. Sindio? Haya. Uh, Hello, Sasa Vivian. Mambo, Lin. Sana, mambo. Sana. Pole nimeku... Pole sana kwa request. Unaniona? Sikuoni uko kwa giza. Mimi unaniona. Wewe mi na kuona imagine. Watu wangu kwa comment niko kwa giza ama hebu tuone mtu kwa comment atuambie kama ananiona. Mimi na kuona imagine. Gai, ama ni nini yaifanyi? Hamuoni. Sasa ni nani niko sawa? Mimi sikuoni but ni sawa. Hata wewe unaonekana. Mimi naonekana? Unaonekana. Ni sawa tu basi nitaongea tu kwa giza. Hebu tuambie. Mimi pia niko Saudi, niko hii ni mwaka ya sita I think. Mhm. Uh-huh. Alafu na mimi ni Kemboi. Mhm. Uh-huh. Na sijawahi fanya umalaya. Si rejesta mimi wakati niliangalia hiyo kitu akisema ati watu wametolewa kuinaga mtu kama mimi nilitoka ushago. Nikikuja Saudi siku anajua anything. Unaona? Na kitu yenye ilifanya nitotoke kwa ile nyumba nilikuanga na watoto 14 na darasa 8 na mka 5. Unaona? Alafu baba wa nyumba alikuwa hot tempered. Mama wa nyumba alikuwa appreciate kitu yenye alikuwa anafanya. Arafu alikuwa anachereza salary yangu. Na unanisikiza? Na kusikia kama. Ah, so hiyo sasa hiyo kitu nilikuwa inanibo. Arafu sasa ni yule mama mwenye alikuwa anapenda ukifanya kitu anaanza, "Hii ni nini umefanya? Umefanya hii? Yaani mtu mwenye alikuwa ridiki. Ukifanya hii ana question, ukifanya hii ana question. Alafu alikuwa na watoto wengi. Mimi unamimagine watoto wako 13, 16, 18 and 20." Ati lazima mi ni wa, ni warasimisho wa rale ndio kesho waamke mapema kwenda shule. So I have to wait. Ni warasimise rara sijifanya nini kitu by saa sita, saa saba, kitambo kile bed. Ah. Uh-huh. Si kitu mimi nikakuja nika nikajua kuna wa Kenya nje nikakuwa hapa Saudi kuna wa Kenya eh tunatoroka eh. Hii ikafanya mimi nikatoka. But vile nilitoroka niliteseka kwa nyumba nyingi. Most ile Arabu wa Saudi wengi si wazuri. Wacha tuseme tu kweli kama umeangukia nyumba nzuri nyumba nzuri wa arabu wazuri shukuru Mungu at last nilikuja kuangukia nyumba yenye nimeingia hapa 2016 niliingia huku 2016 na nimeka huku mpaka ile siku yenye tarudi nyumbani niliangukia mwarabu mzuri but although hakuna watoto wengi na Vivian naona mtu anasema hii history ya San Coco life laje Si ndio nashangaa akisema prostitute unashangaa na mtu umekaa kwa marabu umefinyiliana tu huko huko sasa unashangaa huyu maraya kwani kuna maraya mwenye ana wao watu wa kuinange si wa Kenya wanafaa kukufa Watu uh-huh. huko embassy akusaidiwi hata ukiwa embassy ukipiga mimi nakumbuka nikipiga simu niambie nibadilishie nyumba wanachukua simu the following day ukipiga wamekublock ama unapiga hawachukui yani in short hatusaidi wangu na watu embassy Mm. Na nimeona hiyo statement nimeona madamu akiniuliza mimi nikakifanya. Hii ya prostitute, hiyo kitu imetembea, inatembea. Imetransmitiwa kwa Kiarabu. Wanajua si eti hawajui. So mimi sijui next ni vifo ngapi yenye itashuka Kenya Rondo. So hata Waarabu washaanza kuwauliza inamaanisha nini? Eh, hey, wameanza kuuliza, wamesema kuna nini? Nimeona msichana kuna msichana mkubwa hapa anajua kizungu, ameniuliza nikapotezea. Nikamwambia sijui mimi sijaingia kwa social media. Unajua mimi sijawaeka kwa WhatsApp ama Facebook. Hakuna mali report mwenye tunakutana. 
wanajua wanajua wameona sasa kama yeye ni kiwete na mpaka kiwete akili sijui alikuja ku represent alikuja akapewa shorba na rusi akakura akashipa akajisahau kitu yenye limleta huku but tu aombe tu Okay. Sawa basi. Yeah. Asanti. 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 Ni kibaya sana usikuoni. Wacha wengine waongee. Hata nikutumia screenshot nikutumie kwa DM. Sawa? Sawa, asanti. Wacha nikutumie Susan. Haya. Haya smile. Haya. <laughs> Nimemchukulia. Nimemchukulia screenshot ndio tumtumie kwa DM. Ah, ni Susan ni DM kitu sawa? Sawa. Kwa oh, Vivian ni DM ni DM kitu ndio ni kitu. <laughs> ah, sasa oh hata nimesahau tulikuwa wapi. Anyways, I think uh, I get I get personally I get why many people would be frustrated here. Yeah? I get why such remarks especially coming from a leader are very devastating given there were so many issues that Unajua watu wange wange ongelelea huko. Alafu kama umechuziwa kama representative, si ukae tu nao wa Kenya chini waulize shida iko wapi na tunaweza tatua aje. But for you pia kwenda kutuanika huko, I mean anyways, naona pia watu wanauliza Kemboy ni nini? Kemboy is a runaway. Uh, if I'm not wrong, I think nikikumbuka vizuri Kemboy is a runaway. Alafu mm, Ah uh, chani salimie. Ah uh, Julia anasema huyo mtu ameharibia watu wengi sana. Ah uh, ni nani anasema sijamchukua? Paris anasema sijamchukua. So wacha tutafute uh, Paris but I also want to hear from a man's perspective. So mimi na goza nione where are our men oh, the request are so many so just give me a few minutes. Huh? Ni tafute the next person mwenye ata join conversation. Two minutes please. Huh? ndio kila mtu apate nafasi ya cloud frustrations zake ndio and thank you for joining naona tuko wengi sasa Paris hi Lynn pole nimekuweka sana aki asante nashukuru mambo watu ni wengi aki i understand eh yes sasa tupe maoni yako na sikuoni unaniona Mbona munioni ama kuna venye mmefungiwa huko kwenye kuona mtu labda? Ah ah mimi sikuoni maji. Na kuona mmefika kutambaa kwa kichwa na uko na top ni kama ya gray iko na lines za white kwa katikati. Sawa, so, uh, it's okay. Okay, yeah. kulingana na e statement ya Nyasanko kametoa imetuuma. To be sincere imetuuma na ametumia a very bad word hata angetumia ingine at least but it's high time we speak against what has been spoken unto us mhm sababu ametuita malaya at times i feel it's not worth tuacha kujiita vile tumeitwa mhm tuacha kuitana vile tumeitwa anaweza kuwa ametuita hivyo lakini ndimi zetu ziko na nguvu ya kulaani na kubariki wow. pia wow so it's high time we speak blessings upon our lives tuacha kujiita malaya sisi si malaya sisi si malaya sisi ni watoto wa watu sisi ni mama za watu we are sisters we are aunties to people This Sankoku guy, okay, it's high time I could apologize. Sababu hoti I believe akona mstana. He has a daughter, he has a wife. And And he's scared someone from government. Yaani mtu kutoka kwa serikali akuja aseme bibi yako ni malaya. It pains us. Inatuuma. Akuje tu apologize. As guys, kuna time naingia Facebook napata ina una, ina kani kama joke but it's not a joke tuache kujiita malaya just because tumeitwa to the appreciate whatever we are doing here we know why we are here tunajua ni kwa sababu gani tuko hapa we need to educate our kids we need as in tunajua mbona tuko hapa hiyo statement moja is to pull down guys is to yani itifanye to lose focus na why we are here wacha tu hii statement ikuwe tu ni kama stepping stone ituinue 
na please guys tuwate kujiita malaya we are not prostitute we are not prostitute we know who we are lin asante sana una una finate tunaumwa ni utungu i remember hiyo siku niliingia facebook na that is where niliona hiyo nililia nililia nikijua kama ningekuwa malaya it inauma inauma for sure inauma i'm so sorry it's okay it's okay lin pia mtu mwingine nafasi thank you bye 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 mami bado utuoni bado si waoni madin sawa hata nikutumia kumpa kuona vile atilikuwa ni sawa thank you thank you mama ni ni dm kitu ndio nitumie si ndio okay asante mama sawa bye bye mami dialogue and anyway, when you see how strong that word can be i think it gets emotional ukiona weni mama ya mtu weni sister ya mtu wewe ni bibi ya mtu alafu unasikia umeitwa jina kama hiyo i get where purity is coming from and i also get where the emotions are coming from but she has said something really important it's high time tuache kujiita venye tumeitwa okay it's high time usipatie hizo words power over you Because if that's not who you are that's not who you are and i think as a leader as i said before it would be wise for you to dig deeper ujue hata kama kuna wasichana wetu wanafanya prostitution huko saudi gulf something starts from somewhere something really does start from somewhere and then umepatiwa opportunity ya kwenda kutetea watu and all you can do is try make yourself look good in front of our leaders wa Saudi ndio wakusifu and then ukishatoka huko what will happen to the people that you are supposed to be representing i mean if you have left your own citizens heart broken if you have um left your own women girl sisters daughters heart broken and the fact that now watu wa Saudi wanaanza kuulizana malaya ni nini malaya ni nini malaya ni nini halafu ushtukie wewe unapika tu hapo alafu mtu amekwambia malaya hebu nilataka kitungu i mean mm -mm. leaders personally i believe someone should do better na kama ujui pia nyamaza si ndio so we have uh, like 10 minutes to go so let me uh three more people please keep it below 2 minutes ndio kila mtu apate time si ndio siwezi takakuacha watu wakihang but i have so many requests and make sure your connection is also strong so that tunaweza sema maneno yetu ya mwisho si ndio haya yake hai connect so let me try someone else hello Okay, imekata. Hata nijaribu. Let me Hello. Hello. Hey, mambo mudoni. Mudoni sasa. Mudoni kidua. Sasa lini? Sana uko poa. Mimi niko poa. Unaniona poa? Eh, mimi nakuona. Haya, leta maoni yako mudoni. Okay, hiyo story ya Sankok lakini Mm. imetuuma. Juu mtu ametoka homa na kuja kutafuta, alafu unasikia tena unaanza kuitwa unaanza kuitwa maneno ati sijui watu walitolewa kwa inange. Sijui Sabina Joy. Hapa tunafanya kazi na wa Filipina, na hao watu government yao inawafaitia wanalipwa vizuri sana. Mm -hmm. Sisi wa Kenya since kutoka kutoka 2012, watu watu wamekuwa wakikuja kazi na mia nane pesa mingi sana mtu amekuja nayo hapa ni elfu moja. Hmm? Kwa sababu kuna mtu ati anaweza wafaitia. Huyo ndio alichaguliwa at least akuje atetewa Kenya. At least waache kuteswa hizo mateso zinakuanga. At least wajaribu walipoe vizuri. Lakini yeye ndiye anakuja kuharibu. Hmm? Ameharibu. Unaimagine hata mdosi kabisa mdosi wako hata anakuuliza maswali anakuuliza kweni wa Kenya mnakuanga mnakuanga aje? Hmm? 
Jua alikuja akaharibu. Sasa yeye hata aliua. Sasa hata sijui hata kama wa Kenya huku atawaiongezwa mshahara. Hmm? sasa ameharibu CV. Huyo mtu anafaa fikirie na next time wanachagua mtu anakukuja ku represent Kenyans hapa Saudi Arabia at least wachague mtu ana akili. Si mtu kama huyo akukuja kuharibia watu at least tuna, tuna expect at wa Kenya wataongezwa mshahara at least walipwe vizuri. At least hata wafikishwe kitu 1500 wawache kuepa. Watu hawahepangi atijua nini ya nini ni mashida na mateso. Juu wenye wanatumango walishakuja wakaribia wa Kenya CV sasa hata muarabu wa unangi wa Kenya ni kama wako na faida yoyote. Mm. Hmm? Sasa inafahamu mtu akitumwa at least anakuja anatetea wa Kenya. Na anatetea mpaka agencies. At least mtu aki, akikuja kazi anakuja akijua atalipwa. At least kuanzia 1500. Lakini mambo ya kukujanga na at 800, 900. Juu anakuja kuharibu. Hmm? Hasan. Sai Kai galfi kona watu na wakenya wengi sana. Na watu wanaletwa na mashida zao. Watu hawaletwi ati hakuna mtu ameokotwa kwa inange ama sabina. Afadhali hata angetumia angetumia jina asemee wana wana pole wangu ana huko ushago. It's understandable. Asante sana Lin. Niona asante sana Lin. Asante sana. I think hata hiyo kusema ati watu wametolewa koinangu. We are taking two more people watupatie maoni yao. Please keep it under two minutes. Uh, najua kuna wengine aki nitaacha. Kuna mtu anasema Lin unataka kuniacha hapa nyuma ya tent na comment yangu haithru. Kadhure ndi huyo mimi siwezi kuacha nyuma ya tent mimi. Acha tusikie at least maoni ya mtu for two minutes. Zero, zero sioni request yako so make sure also hello hello habari yako sasa sana aki pole nimekuweka waiting ebu tupatie maoni yako mami mimi nataka kumuaddress hata siye hata si wewe wherever inamfikia ulikuja na ukasema na tukasikia sisi hata utuite malaya it's okay but hizo life ziko kwa embassy mtu mwenye atakufa from now on it's upon you the cries may they reach him imagine lin wasee wana, wana die now and then now and then then unakuja okay atuulize story za waarabu sisi Tumacheka na wewe dakika mbili dakika tatu unaanza kutusiwa. They will sit down and talk about you. Unakuja umejipendekeza Lin. Na amejipendekeza na akasema ubaya wetu. As if we are not Kenyans. Umekuja na ukajipendekeza na ukasema si ni malaya hata hatuna shida. But what about those au wenye wako kwa deportation? What about the embassy? Mbona haukuenda ku change what the embassy does to everyone? Mbona haukuenda ku change? Mbona haukuongea? Si ungesema, si ungesema okay, it's okay the salary hata hatuna shida. It's okay juu tumezoea. Mbona hauku change huyo Juma? Mbona hakutolewa? Why? Mbona hakutolewa? Ni wangapi wako kwa deportation saa hii? Ni wangapi wamelala kwa hizo ofisi kama wamegonjeka? Wame Mahara 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 ni wangapi wako huko wagonjwa ni wangapi kwa nini ha, kwa, kwa nini mbona hata angetetea salary it's not all about salary it's about lives mama ya mtu mama ya mtu sister ya mtu mtoto wa mtu umetoka umekuja kutuita malaya sina shida na hiyo mbona huku change vitu mbona huku kuta change vitu I want to address you. Life ni ita 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 it, it, mtu akikufa tu sai it's upon you. It's an every tear. It's upon you. You had the chance to change. You didn't change. Mungu amekuja amekupea chance. A golden one. Ungeenda hapo ungesema okay achana na salary. Tumezoea. Achana na salary change things. Kwa nini haukuuliza hao malaya wanapotea kwa nini? 
sikatai wanapotea wanapotea kwa nini why didn't you dig deeper why alafu na okay kwa nini hawakutuma mtu amekuwa huku gulf kwa nini why unatuma mtu amekula tu ame ame juu yeye ni kivete ame amechaguliwa tu amepelekwa kwa bunge alafu si ungetuma tu mtu ame mtu amekuwa gulf kuna demlin ulihost kwa kwa jo yako na huo dem alikuwa anaongea story ya kemboi hata angekuja yeye ulikuwa na kemboi huko kwa nini why mbona haukuongea na hao kemboi vizuri you just jumped into conclusion And here you are calling us at prostitutes. For sure, he's a disgrace. Na yeye uhuru penye yako, jeshi pigeni. Totikenete ona hani ni it's not nice. Si ungekuja tu ujenzi vitu kadhaa hata kama sio salary. Everything is not about money. Lives, humanity. Kitu kidogo tu modo eza gera irathi mona kaondoka nini muno we are not happy at all sai kuna dem ananipigia simu ananiambia aki Harriet mimi kama ni kama leo leo kesho nitamka ni Mungu tu and he's there amekaa tu vizuri alikuja hata kama alipewa pesa what can can money buy life money cannot buy life no totina kena uhuru pia i i want them ndivyo we can forgive lin but we cannot forget if you want to ask for forgiveness book flighting in and saudi correct things things are not right it is not done this way if you want the wana hamam to forgive you go back to saudi and correct things asante sana lin Wow, Asanti, Asanti, wow, Asanti, Asanti Harriet, uh, thank you so much. Where? Hmm, comment. We are sending hugs to Harriet. Ah, uh, so um Chani tutafute solution sasa watu wangu. I want us to close with to fikiria what's the way forward even for as to co frustrated dv what do you think it's, it's the way forward what do we do from here to meongea ah me me feel harriet shay where ah cheni to so me comments kidogo sisi wote pamoja si ndio cheni wape time ya kusoma comments As I say hi electronics mambo and mambo Catherine karibu Clay Stacy mambo casino get food Hilda na Harriet amesema the most important thing ni wapande ndege tena Waende waombe ata forgiveness I think you wouldn't know kama ujai kuwa gulf sisemi watu wenye wana watch na mibia wajai kuwa gulf waelewi but you wouldn't know how hard work in Kenyans are huko unless umekuwa huko it's so sad it's really sad to see people crying over words umeita mtu jina kama hizo alafu umesaidia na nini you know anyways sending so many hugs to our watu wenye wameongea i want to give two more people a chance and i'll come back for another live as we try now to put our heads together and look for solutions because hata tukiongea we still need solutions we need to know what's the way forward sindio we need to make as much noise as possible so that we make sure we have you know solutions zenye ni ziko na longevity and they are sustainable so let me give um probably two more people at least watuambie watu wa book tuambie unaona moving for what should we do and then we can close 
and I'll be back with another like kadhure sasa yes lean mambo pizza na uko poa yeah mimi niko poa naona umekuwa na sisi kwa life for a while so wewe unaona solutions ni okay well okay first of all uh, i'd love to talk about hiyo uh, part ya makimboi mm. me myself a makimboi na si kukemboi juu ya kupenda you know you look things the way they are and una make a quick a quick uh, judgment because these people are very predictable at times when they are mad so mimi in office nilikuja nayo kitu kwanza walinidanganya salary they told me i'm coming to be paid 30000 so me kufika huku my boss told me no my contract my contract yenye bosongo alikuwa nayo na yangu they were different so nikaitisha namba ya ofisi yenye ilikuwa kwa my contract haiko ina go through but yenye kafiri wangu ako nayo ilikuwa ina go through i asked her for that number she refused kabisa akakata so uh venye tulianza kuleta na juu ikakuwa ofisi itafute mkenya mwenzangu ni mueleze because at that time i was new siko naelewa kiarabu so they finally they finally found a kenyan lady na tukaongea so the kenyan lady told me you can share your number with me so that we can keep talking alini advice at least nikakuja chini you know so vinye kafiri wangu alisikia napeana namba yangu ya simu aka grab simu na akakata she hung up the phone so i asked her why why can't i have the original number ya ofisi what if something happens to me niko na shida who do i talk to ofisi ya kenya nimewaitisha namba bado wananipia ile ile kwa contract na muambia hii namba haigo through so mimi nilileta shida nikamwambia kafiri wangu i'm not staying here niligoma siku tatu kazi so the that day in the evening Azure na una watu wanasema uwasaidie na solution. Oh okay okay. So the solution I think okay. Prostitutes wako hatukatai. Wako wenye wanafanya hiyo lakini si kupenda. Si kupenda. And that is where I was going. Mimi personally I had considered it. Because when I sasa vinyo niliamua kukemboi things were hard. Yaani frustrations left right center. I'm still new here and all that. So bad influence walikuwa wananiambia you know come join us but I thank god sikuweza kuwa join I've been working kazi ya nyumba bado and god has been faithful so hmm. yes kuna hao ma prostitutes what solution did he bring considering wako alikuja kuwasaidia instead of calling all of us prostitutes angekuja na solution aseme okay i understand kunao and this and this is what we will do to help them you know but not including all of us in that category yeah it was so bad i also felt it and uh, me personally napenda sana ku ignore hizi mambo za girls because they are, they can be draining at times and toxic so if you listen to all these propagandas wa kenya wenye wako home kutu insult and everything hata mtu ataingia into depression so uh-huh. me personally i try to avoid those those things but what sankok did it was not good all his words and zenyali sema kama mimi saa hii mali nafanya job ni nyumba ya government official so hata nikipita pita hapa napita na uoga i'm like ah watu wananifikiriaje because yeye anapata first hand information he's in the government my boss so hadi naibika mimi mwenyewe personally you know it was not good and uh, ni mwana mtu hapa anasema hafai ku apologize because it's true kuna prostitutes but angeka vitu chini ya carpet you know ange feature at least address the main issues hizi zingine watengeneze chini chini ya maji you know so yeah, so that was my comment thank you thank you so much okay. now kuna there is someone anasema nijaribu ku reach out ni so many requests ha? So si ati umekuwa ignored ni venye kuna requests mingi sana so acha tusikie uh, I, w- I wanna hear from a man ndio tufunge men are saying and what do they think about this conversation and as i said we are looking for moving forward 
what's our way forward from here? What should we do? Okay, if uh, you are also requesting, please make sure at least connection yakon is strong. Yeah. Hello, Sasa David. Yeah. Mambo. Hello. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. So, Dave, at least we do. Hello? Hello? Uh, so, I think Nalu's Nalu uh, Dave, network yeah, is strong. Acha to scare kutoka kwa living stone. Hello? Hello? Hello, Lynn? Hey, Mambo. Poa kwa sana. Poa kwa sana. Mm -hmm. Mimi ni kwa Qatar. Uh, mm. Lin, lakini hii mm -hmm. ishi ya Sanko kalisema vibaya sana uh, uh, ange, Angeangalia wako ndiyo wako Watu kama, kama kemboi wako Lakini mm -hmm. solution Lin ni hivi Wacha ni kuambia Lin Unaona mm. wama Filipino Government yao wamewatetea sana Na mpaka salari yao wana negotiate kutoka Filipino Unaona? So kitu kilioko lin Awa watu wanatoka kama government wamejua Ya kuamba watu wanatoka mtu ametoka Kenya Ametoka Philippin Na anenda kufanya kazi Salari ya napewa pesa ngapi Ukiangalia Qatar Philippines wakona embassy mbili Unaona Philippines wakona accommodation Unaona Wakona accommodation Which mtu wakikimbia juu Awa watu wakimbi kwa kupenda kwao Unaona wanakimbia kwa sababu ya shida. Unaona? Hao Arabu si marafiki wetu by the way, wanakuchukua kama wamkununua. Wameshakununua, unaona? So, lin accommodation yao wanalipa 10 real per month. Au um, Philippines. Wanalipa 10 real, wanakatwa every month. So kitu kilioko lin ni government yetu wa negotiate. Unaona? Salary ya watu wa Kenya wanakuja huku. Then, wakuina accommodation. Hata kama wanakatwa 10 real every month. Itaeleweka juu. Already lean, hapa watu uh, salary yao ni 1,000 kwenda juu. Government isha yeka hivyo. Unaona? Salary yao ni 1,000 kwenda juu. Wengine wanakula 2,000. Wengine wanakula 2,500 katar. Wako sawa. Unaona? Lakini kuna watu wanateseka. Sio watu wako sawa wengine wanateseka wanateswa wa juu huku kwa warabu mtu ukishaingia kwa komodi, kwa hiyo nyumba umeingia au utatoka nje unaona hata kuenda kuona embassy embassy unaenda unaona ukienda kwa embassy insist unataka hata kuona ambassador insist kabisa kwa tu mwendo wa simu utasaidiwa unaona juu uwezi sema wa embassy wote kila mtu mbaya wewe ukienda hapo ukikuwa tu hivi unasema oh hapana oh, so the best thing lin Government yetu inafaa wa negotiate vile wa Kenya wanakuja huku wasikuje tu hivyo wakuja wapite njia mzuri another thing government yetu inafaa waangalie vile accommodation you lean ukikosa accommodation umeenda kwa embassy hakuna mahali unaweza unaweza kimbia uende umefukuzwa ama unaenda kuteswa huku unaenda kuuliwa unaona unaenda kuuliwa hata wewe mwenyewe unaona kama maisha yako imeisha hakuna mahali unaweza lala kwa embassy wanakwambia tu rudi tu Rudi tu bado, unaona. Rudi, ukisha rudi, tutaona vile tutafanya, tutafuatilia mambo yako. Na uko ukienda wamesha jua, usha wapeleka kwa embassy. Nini watakufanya? Nini watakufanya? Na unapata kama kuna msichana mwingine, wasichana wengine, wana kuambia, Lin, umekua mae, kuja uko tukai, unaona. Wale ni mawakempoi, walisha kimbia, wako uko, labda wameingia kwa prostitute, wamekua, hata siyo kupenda kwa au. Walikimbia, awana kazi. Unaiwa? Awana kazi wa. Awana chochote. Mm. Awana accommodation. Inabidi wakimbie waende uko inje. Wakae na wengine. Ukienda, wengine, ukienda kukana lini. Umeenda kukana wale wengine. Una ID. Una passport. Una chochote. Uwezi rudi Kenya. Una pesa. Unaiwa? Umepata kama walikumboi. Na njia wanaiza pata na pesa ni prostitutes. Unaona Wakue prostitutes. Unaona we mwenyewe itabidi uingie juu wanakuambia sasa utasurvive aje wanakuambia sisi hatuwezi kukulisha 
tunajiuza na tunakulisha unaingia una join unaona sio kupenda kwako alafu hawa ni hapa lini hawa ni watoto wa watu imagine useme hao wote ni prostitutes wametoka hao Sabina Joyce leo wa Koinange imagine sasa wewe lean unafanya huko ukienda nyumbani ile kitu wana, watu wanakuangalia ngapi wanakuangalia kama prostitute amekuja nyumbani unaona na lean sio prostitutes wengine wametoka hata nyumbani wamekuja tu kutafuta kazi so solution ni ndio nikatishe hii kitu lean the best solutions niko nazo mimi nimejua kwanza government wa negotiate salary yao government wajue wanaenda wapi wakikuja waingie kwa embassy first of all ni embassy wa report kwa embassy mtu mwenye anachukua hawa watu wakienda kufanyia kazi akuje kwa embassy kwanza amchukue kwa embassy akiandika akiacha documents zake na kila kitu na contacts of which mm. itajulikana huyu msana mm. ako kwa ako kwa embassy ama ako kwa nani fulani unaona nyumba kuna namba fulani street fulani unaona of which itafuatiliwa ambiwe conditions ni sio kuchukua passport ya huyu msana embassy wanabaki na passport yake unaona embassy wanabaki na passport yake if any case uko na shida na yeye kuja embassy straight unaona hiyo itasaidia another thing Kenya wakishane kwa negotiate salary yao aya wakishane negotiate na salary yao Kenyans wapewe accommodation of which ukikimbia kama kuna shida kuja kwa embassy uwapelekwe kwa hiyo accommodation mahali unalipa 10 real 10 real kwa kila mtu unaona mpelekwe ukishapelekwa huko ka huko unaona ka huko ukiongojea kesi yako iandaliwe unaona wakati wana handle kesi yako lakini uko kwa accommodation utaenda kwa prostitution ama ni nini na nini unaona so mimi kwangu hizo ndo solutions watu wa watu kwa prostitute huko yes hiyo ni mimi nimesa so ongea na wasichana wetu wasichana wetu mimi kitu naweza kuwa naweza kuambia wasichana ah uh, ni kuteso kuteseka unajua lean hata sitaki hata kuambia kitu mimi sitaki hata kuambia nini you already wanafanya kazi wa Kenya wanafanya kazi by the way lean wasichana wetu wanateseka na wanafanya kazi wanafanya kazi kabisa mimi na washukuru so shida tu hizo tu vile warabu warabu wanateseka wana by the way warabu wale hawajali hata ulianguka umeumia wao wanataka kutaka food wanataka food wao hataki kujua kama uliumia huko shauri yako unaona hawataki hata kujua wewe ni mgonjwa hata wewe ukiwa mgonjwa kwa tu mgonjwa hiyo ni yako unaona so juzi yeye ye, si mama yako si baba yako unaona yeye ye, anataka afanye kazi kitu anataka ngani mfanye kazi hiyo ndio kitu anataka so lean mimi wasichana wetu ni wazuri usifikirie watu ni wabaya wenye wamekuja kama prostitutes wanakuja ndio wengine wanakimbia hata kutoka kwa airport labda siku hizi vile 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 wako vile labda lazima waende quarantine kuna wanatoka quarantine na siku ile anachukuliwa anapotea lakini hao ni kidogo hivi kidogo ongea sio wengi ongea na huyo sankok ah mimi kitu naweza mbea sankok ni kitu ya kwanza sankok angekuja kama wakati alikuwa anakuja angeenda kwa embassy aende tu awampie nataka kuongea na au au nini au anaitwaje uh, uh, kadhama mm. ama uh, kadhama ni wale nini wakimbizi hao unaona temboi angeenda juu wote wakiitwa wanaweza wanaweza enda of which sai Qatar government of Qatar wametoa wote wenye walikimbia wote waende kwa government wa watatolewa itatolewa hizo kesi zote na mimi na fines zote watafute kazi wapewe kazi wafanye kazi wakuwe na IDs na nini government ya Qatar ilitoa ilitoa sahi of which ina run mpaka December ikifika December imeisha hmm. sahi walitolewa so wengine wata wataogopa kuenda juu unajua lazima unafikiria labda utashikwa utadipatiwa unaona lakini wengine pia lean wacha nikuambie una wengine matajiri wengine au waarabu ma, pia ni wabaya wana report ya kwamba ulipotea na uko kwake unajua hiyo wana report umepotea na uko kwake alafu wanasema unadipotiwa na hataki kukulipa 
anakaa na wewe kwa kama 4 months amejua ya kwamba contract yako inaisha. Mm. Baadaye anasema baadaye anasema huyu ni sana alipotea na huko potea na jiu. Huko potea. So Sam Cook angeenda kwanza aongee na hofu jana. Mm. Ange concrete yeye alifikiri yeye aliongea na labda aliongea na embassy. Mm. Akaongea na wetu wengine, akuongea na hawa. Hawa watu. Wao watu wako. Wako lakini wakienda wakiwa face angejua shida yao. Angejua kwa nini wanakimbia. Unaona? Na angekaa mna solution nzuri. Sasa kitu alifanya vibaya ni akoenda kuwaongelesha. Unaona? Yeye aliongea na watu wenye wana shida. Ukiongea na watu wenye wana shida, watakwambia kila kitu. Unaona? Enda uongee na watu wenye wako na shida. Watakwambia kwa nini walikimbia. Na mimi nimejua sadi, nimejua kwa nini walikimbia na kwa nini process wako wengi. Wako wengi kwa sababu hawana mm. accommodation, wanaambiwa endeni tu urudi huko mahali ulikuwa ukae huko na huko ndio umetoka umeenda umeenda waacha vile ni watu nikwambia mtu ako kwa nyumba yako amekuripoti kwa polisi unaona na ako kwa nyumba yako na lala kwako unaweza mfanye nini hata wewe hauko safe kwa hiyo nyumba hauko safe kwa hiyo nyumba umeambiwa rudi ukae huko kesi yako tutasikia mm. na huyu mtu mwenye unaishi naye ndio umempeleka kotini Haitawezekana lini. Haitawezekana. The best thing ni wangekuwa na accommodation, mtu akikimbia unaambiwa kesi yako tutaandwe lakini kwanza enda kwa accommodation. No. Unaenda kwa accommodation na relax hapo, kesi yako wana handle. Mkielewana, unarudi kumfanyia kazi, anakuwa na discipline anasema yenyewe huyu msichana karibu aende. Unaona? Lakini sasa nimemrudisha mimi mwenyewe ndio nimemwongelesha, nimeongea na embassy tumeadili mm. wacha rudi anifanyie mm. kazi au utaona kama uta, utapewa hizo madharau na nini na nini. Mm. Mm. Yes. Wow. Nimechukua time Wait. sana, nimechukua time sana. Uh, I at least tumetupatia solution hapa na pale and I also appreciate having men in this conversation and I'm really proud of you for coming out and speaking uh you know on this and also kupatia wasichana wetu moyo so ka, kama unaweza ni dm ndio kama tuko na conversations kama hizi na kushow mapema ndio siku wote tunakam hapa tunatafuta soli tunatafuta solutions si ndio okay, okay. sasa so, basi salimia watu konish okay <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> okay, okay. so Wow yeah. um good uh, that was a very good uh, closing uh, I know we will come back here and come up with solutions leo tumesikiza matatanishi ya watu na ninaona it's been a very sensitive conversation to have and even for our leaders whoever is going to watch this always remember that words have power words have power and um i think this is a matter that the government should take seriously i think such words will not be forgotten uh, by people because i think the worst part ni kusikia mtu at mdos wake ashaanza kumuuliza wewe ulitoka kwa nange ama sabina joy it shouldn't be happening such words have power na najua sisi si wote to go golf and the only reason i genuinely have a soft spot for anyone who is in golf it's because i've been there before and i've worked there and i can vouch for how hard working our kenyan uh, brothers and sisters are so kuona mtu anaenda tu anaanza ku sema vitu fani fani ati watu waliokotwa sabina joy ama ama koinange that's really wrong i want to come back again for um a different conversation na tukue na more people like livingstone we talk about the solutions moving forward what do we do and in case you are just joining us and you missed this conversation itakuwa pale youtube kwangu uh, kesho so you can just go to my youtube channel in google make sure you subscribe so that kesho tuki upload unaweza watch from from youtube and i just want to say thank you for tuning in so many people have joined and oh my goodness we um 
at least I love the community that we are building together. That for me will always be a plus. That we are able to come and to combine ideas and to work and to find solutions. So let me say uh, good night, guys. Uh, but uh, let me just say good night to and to uyu ametutumia mawa mingi. Ebu tuone u nani ametutumia hizi mawa zote. Aha, acha niseme goodbye to boy inaanguka. So, um, Napsi amesema anataka kusema something. We'll do that tomorrow. Queen, Firstborn, Sarah, Nancy, eh, Susan, ata siwezi keep up. Hizi zinaenda raka Clement, Mungai, Pretty, Dennis. Good night, good night, good night, Joy. Good night, Abby. Uh, good night, Darlene. Good night, Lynn. Good night, Wanjiru. Good night, Sandra. User 99, good night, Moraya, Caroline, and everyone who joined in. Nesh, good night. Anita, good night. Steve, good night. Moisha Love, good night. Julia, good night. Good night and thank you guys for joining. Remember, ni mesema kama ume miss hii live, just go subscribe to my YouTube channel na tutaiweka kesho and I look forward to coming back with another live for us to be able to discuss a solution. Thank you for tuning in. God our bless. Remember, tusitikie kujiita venye tumesha itua. Kam tu amesha kujiita malaya, usitikie kujiita malaya. No, that can't be. Words have power. Nani alituambia purity, alituambia usitikie kujiita kitu yenye umesha itu wakama iyo kitu siya ukwe, siya ukweli. Simina wapenda na thank you for joining na tuendele, tusikufe moyo and we are also looking forward to an apology. I hope next time we will do better. Sindio, love you guys. Bye. ni watu wengi bado mko online haya twendeni ndio nifunge live aki munaongezeka tu twende ndio nifunge live bye bye guys let's give it a minute basi kila mtu aende bed na wenye tunamkia shift tuamkie shift bye good night we are not Sabina Joy and we are not Koinange. Ati nilisa hau kufanya nini? Oh, the only thing alikuwa nafaa kuja kuangalia ni development. Kesho ni weekend. Okay, nimiambua ni goje nini muende mulale ndi uniwafuate. Haya, sawa. Haya, ndoni mulale ndi umini wafuate basi. Haya, let's go to sleep. Good night. Nimeambua ni wafuate. Okay. PTN YouTube PM subscribe. Ni sawa. Alright. Ikisha fika 300. We are at 35.3k. Likes. Thank you guys. I appreciate you. Ayi, nyi naona mta... Mkamuendi? Haki, aa, aa. Oo, nimiambua niyombe. Ndiyo tulale. Aya, sisisi whatever si tunaeza sema the grace. Amen. Bye. Ah, to me dedicate you a happy wimbo. We are no longer slaves of fear. Awesome. Awesome. Kesho mtu ananiuliza live ni ya sangapi. Kesho tunaenda live again. 9.30. 9.30. Saa tatu na nusu. Amina. Amina. Okay, share this live also with your friends. Don't forget kuenda pale YouTube. Subscribe. It will mean a lot to me. Naenda kueka hii video hapo. Ni sawa? Ok. O, ni meambuwa ni anze live 10. So, inaka watu wengi wanamaliza job 10, ha? Ok. Ok. He? Jeez. Bae ni watu wangu. Ok.